Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Sri Banerjee, Certified Astrologer, and in this segment I will be going over the solar eclipse um, slash new moon that is about to take place on April 8th, 2024, 2.20 p.m. And due to the um, solar eclipse taking place during the daytime hours um, and and some of the, some of the other factors, um, this solar eclipse is actually um, visible um, uh, in the eastern coast of the United States. Uh, so w what does all this mean? Um, this, um, of course, some of the things um, that people say about the solar eclipse is that um, what you what you feel usually during a new moon is enhanced three times as much. Um, so first thing is first, um, let's look at the new moon. Um, and this is midway into Aries, of course, the sun entered Aries uh, during the vernal equinox. Um, however, now that the now that Aries is there, um, that kind of encourage you, encourages you to um, nudge out of your comfort zone and be able to uh, potentially embrace uh, something new that is not in your comfort zone. Um, so a lot of times um, not knowing what to do in a comfort zone um, allows you to um, kind of develop your personality and, and everything else um, that the new moon entails. Um, so um, remember that just to just to go into the astrological um, uh, importance of this, this is a the eclipse is actually a natural phenomenon, and the moon comes in between uh, the Earth and the Sun, so that's why um, there's a shadow that's casted. Um, so this will actually be um, more intense if you're Aries um, than anything else. Um, just looking at the ruler of Aries, Aries is entering the eighth house over here. Or the ruler of Aries is Mars, and Mars is entering the eighth house. Um, and transformation is one of the key elements of um, of the eighth house. So as, as Mars enters and um, starts to um, allow you to look at things differently, Saturn um, grounds the person and and even collectively this think about um, these configurations as um, what is going on globally um, and so this grounding is um, allows even nations and uh, multinational corporations to um, go beyond what is uh, in the comfort zone and kind of ground this is not necessarily a um, period of expansion and um, and uh, usually the Mar usually Mars is also known as the catalyst um, th there's not unbridled growth um, there's actually Saturn and trying to in some ways inhibit Mars uh, so the eighth house is kind of um, looking into that and both Mars and Venus um, are in the eighth house um, Pisces and Aries. So um, Pisces is, is usually uh, kind of nebulous and Saturn grounds all that as well. Um, what else is going on? Mercury is in the midheaven and so um, Mercury allows for more uh, mental clarity. Um, of course Mark, Mercury retrograde has um, other ramifications where um, usually communication is very clear um, that is disrupted during this time. So part of um, nudging out of the comfort zone might be um, not being able to communicate um, effectively. And so this is actually a um, very uh, close configuration with the 10th house. Um, so the intersection between the 9th house and the 10th house is going from education to now going into career. So um, collectively, there might be newer jobs that are, appear, um, uh, more 
um, higher education level jobs. And so um, transitioning from education to career is an important area. Um, and collectively, perhaps there's um, some, once the clarity is um, there, once Mercury is again going um, in the direction it's supposed to, um, there might be some clarity after after this um, phase of uh, on a phase of time that um, Mercury is not really causing communication. Um, another um, area in the tenth house that's um, worth looking at is um, Jupiter and Uranus. So these are two planets. Um, when Jupiter is expanding on Uranus, um, this is also thinking outside of the box and trying to embrace something that is more creative. Um, so all of these configurations is looking into solutions in a creative way, whether there's um, war or natural disasters, um, trying to put all that together um, and uh, collectively trying to um, grapple with uh, some of the conflicts that are taking place. Um, even. Uh, some of the turmoil in, in government that is taking place in some nations um, in Africa. Um, this may be an opportunity for potential peace um, and better understanding in the future. Um, that is what's going on um, within the heavens. I wanted to um, briefly touch on Leo. And because the sun and moon are interacting, um, and sun is in, of course, I went over the ruler. However, um, the sun is the ruler of Leo. So um, not only are you feeling the effect in the ninth house, um, the collectively, um, globally, Leo is actually uh, playing an effect. Um, and Leo is actually important because um, a kind of a proud sort of sign um, allows for the sun to um, kind of manifest itself. And so um, that allows for an enhanced, um, that allows for an enhanced understanding of the persona um, and and how, how that appears. Um, so now this concludes um, what is going on in the heavens. I hope this has made some sense and you can use some of these um, readings to bring clarity into your life. Um, Thank you for listening.